Okay, this is just a quick video about cake stands and the fact that there's a great variety of cake stands and I'm going to just give you a few pointers so that you can avoid the pitfalls that uh, we fell into with a couple of purchases we made. So what you see on the table here is the Pro Cook Fine Dining Range. These are absolutely fantastic. They're a really heavy, solid, handled glass dome. That really is very solid. And a beach, solid wooden beach block. And the reason why this is a good type in my in my mind is that you've got a raised center and that's the important thing a raised center not a raised ridge so it's like a plate on top we have a lip and, it, and the glass jar fits in sorry the dome glass dome fits inside that i don't think that's very good or if you have a uh, uh, a base where there's a rim etc again i don't think that's very good because when it comes to cutting and or then serving what you've then got the issue is you can't get the slice for either the cake or the cheese etc uh, completed as successfully so if you're cutting a cake on here as you know if you've got a plate the raised rim causes problems both of the cut and even if you manage to cut it you've then got the same problem when you're actually trying to use the cake slice so all in all my advice is get a cake base doesn't matter whether it's a glass or wooden base um, with a raised center part over which the glass dome fits over and around so this can't slide off it goes on now pushing it and as you see the base will slide around and that observation is also from another mistake that uh, is easy to make if i just pop these up to the side a minute i'll bring it to the four another type of base you can get so here we have quite a large um, high pillared cake slice stand it's a flat glass top in this case and in this case you'd actually put the dome on top and although that's absolutely fine and it looks fine and dandy there's a risk even if there's a cake on there that this can then slide off and tipple okay and that's obviously a bit of a, a risk to both your glass dome and any guests etc sitting at the table whilst you serve now although this is flat and therefore is easy for both the cutting and the cake slice lifting it isn't anywhere near as ideal as again the uh, the nice neat wooden base I've just shown you I'm going to bring that back into shot because of course you can use these in combination so I have my my stand now of course I can't use the original dome I was going to have with the initial glass dome and I use the new glass dome that came with the Pro Cook Fine Dining base but I have there an altogether more stable and useful uh, combination so I'm just using it now as a, as, a, as a plinth to raise it up on the table so these are my tips and I say this because if you go online you'll absolutely if you go searching online you'll, you'll see um, an inordinate amount of uh, cake domes etc and these are just Google images and an awful lot of them have a raised or curved base and this is a, a curved base I'm not talking about any particular manufacturer or issue etc but a great majority of these have a raised side ring rim to keep the glass dome on and almost all of them uh, will cause you the same kind of frustrations and problems that um, that we've experienced and this is just a, a top tip uh, to try to help people avoid the uh, the same situation that we fell foul of a couple of times and hopefully it'll save you some time and money and frustration so what I'm now going to do is just remove what I don't recommend and pop back into place the dome and it's quite a large dome you also have on the far right there I have another uh, smaller one which is for smaller cakes fairy cakes etc and or cheese and uh, they come in different sizes etc thoroughly recommended it's a good solid glass dome and like i say the all-important raised central piece which holds the glass dome steady as well as allows very clear easy access for cutting and lifting of whatever you've got on that dish